area shootout number five we've already gone through women's singles and gotten to the point where we've got cameron belvin and gina ramirez throwing down for that championship we've gone through men's singles hunter thorne mark richards throwing down for that championship now it's time for pro doubles action first match the Fillinghams, Ryan and Vanessa Fillingham going up against Maya Cup and Kimberly Glass. This is Bernie Neighbors joined alongside Wally, K9, Castler. Wally's going to run us through the brackets. What up, Bubba? Welcome in, everybody. Appreciate you guys joining us, whether it's Facebook, YouTube, or ACL TV. You see the matchup set here. Your number one overall seed. How about that? Danny Seals and Yeti Irwin. What? Your Let's number go. One seed, Justin Burton Jr. and Logan Chamberlain getting ready to take on Alan Rawls and Jeremiah Hector. Winner of that one will get Ashton Spees and Sarah Cassidy. Tony Smith and Mr. Broadcast Hunter Thorne there are going to take on the winner of Ryan Windsor, No Wooten, or Annette Tedder and Allison Peters. Mm. Poitras and Hunter will take on Labrador and Williams. Winner of that one gets Mark Lopez and Corey Ballard. Pretty full bracket, though. I only see one bracket, so I think we should be able to burn through this pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. Get ourselves mm -hmm. to broadcast. Tyler Perrin and Brevin Valdivia coming in as the four seed. They'll take on either Gilbert and Guy or Zaft and Hadley. It is indeed Brett Guy and Eric Davis teaming up together. They're going to take on Bella and Bobby. Winner of that one gets Segura and Vargas on the other side. Oh, we got more below. My bad. My bad. Okay. Too fast. There's, Scroll down. There's my pick. <laughs> Fisher and Gavin. We'll see how they can do. They give them the 12 seed, get the bye. They'll take on either Thielen and Norton or Holland and Voyer. Robertson and Tennyson teaming up together, taking on the Cobbs and Ferreira and Walker, one of my teams to look out for this weekend. Uh, Alec uh, Ryan and Tyler Cobb are your six seed. Cameron Belvin and Connie Altice are your 11. Cameron again made the uh, female broadcast. The female broadcast. Yeah. <laughs> female portion. Yeah. Caleb Batson and Mark Richards. How about that pairing here for the shootout? That's, that's something else. Yeah, very interesting. We got the, the top part of that. Philip Lopez Jr. and Jimmy McGuffin. They earned yeah. the three seed. We got pretty much our entire show here Monday in this little. How about quadrant. when we get to game 55 and you've got Philip thrown against Mark, possibly? Possibly. Trey Birchfield and Alex Rawls come in as your 10 seed. And then Matt Guy and Jimmy Humans, your 23. They're going to take on Daniel Luna and Greg Collins. The Sisueta is up 4 1 right now over Down, Downer and Stickney. And then Power and Trzinski, last minute pairing there as the 15 seed, the number two seed belongs to Dylan Turpin and Caleb Franklin. Some really interesting pairings. Truly. Yeah, it's kind of like the, the thing is this whole weekend is kind of like, what, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Doesn't it just seem, I mean, it, it just seems, seems different, yeah. It's like we turned we turn the corner and it's like we went back to just having fun and relaxing and doing whatever instead of playing for all the big money that's on the line here. I just, you know, you and I have talked about it. It's one of the things we actually agree on. I think if you've got a pro doubles partner, why aren't you playing with your pro doubles partner? I just, I mean, I, I understand if work conflicts, family conflicts happen, you can't make it. They're but here. if you're both in the building, why are you not playing together? I just don't get that. I don't get it. Yeah, I mean, at this point in the season, though, you should have the chemistry with your partner lined up. I mean, we're two nationals. But, in, I mean, more, more, but, ba yeah. more bags does not hurt. Right, but, but, I mean, the other thing is, why mess with that chemistry? Like, you already got the chemistry. Why not just go after the money now? Get, get paid. But we'll see. We'll see how it all plays itself out. You never know. Yeah. But, I mean, we, we've seen it before where all of a sudden, I mean, you've got some really good players, and they're playing with someone else. Then all of a sudden, they win. They win a shootout. Well, then you've lost your partner. And then your partner has a chance to go out and win big money while you're sitting there watching. I just, It just doesn't make sense to me, but I could, I could be a lone voice in that one. I believe these bags are live, my friend. There it is. There's the uh, ceremonial knuckle taps and then the smiles right now. Of course, it's round one. No bags have been thrown, so it's all smiles. Yeah. How about Ryan? Just hanging out with the girls, you know? Yeah. Just chilling with all the girls. Chilling with mom and her friends. Huh. Kind of a slow start here. Just gotta feel each other out, you know? I see what you did there. Mmm, going in behind. Even Maya has something to think about. I mean, she's got a lane there if she steps out. I don't know why she's not, not automatic with it. 
That's why. I guess she just didn't feel comfortable with it. So it's not her normal bag. Yeah. I, I remember just, when I was doing the Michigan State Championships, I believe she got paired up with somebody, and they were throwing, I think it might have even been Jeremy Schirmerhorn, and they were throwing these Viper R's, and she just wasn't familiar with it. Maybe she played against Sherman. I can't remember. Oh, but either oh. way, she was just not familiar with the material in the Viper R's. So she kind of scared herself out of making some shots, you know? I guess, but I mean, that lane is there. I mean, that was step out a little bit, straight shot. But I, I see what you're saying. I mean, if it doesn't feel comfortable in your hand, it doesn't matter how relatively simple the shot is. Ryan Fillingham is another guy that came up through the college ranks. He actually was at, if I'm not mistaken, was at the college championship that also gave us Justin Burton Jr. and Logan Chamberlain coming out of Texas. I believe that's right. I could be wrong. Good bag there. Good collect. Yeah, I think I caught my first tie him in Fort Worth last year, and I kind of already thought he was a pro. I guess I guess when your mom's a pro and you've been around the scene, you, know, you kind of feel mm -hmm. like you fit in, but he had, he had great composure. I think Beautiful mom game. wanted him to finish school. I think there was a lot of that involved. She deterred him, man. He could have been elite by now. <laughs> Johnny Madsen, what up? She's in the chat rooting on Ethan Walker and Mike Ferreira. Hope you're doing well, Connie. All right, I got a question for you, Wally. Question away, sir. So, how many how many rounds of rounders? Two for doubles. Mm -hmm. So Maya's had two matches to throw with these bags, and she looks remarkably uncomfortable with it. But she's still had two matches to throw. Well, we're assuming that they threw these two bags. In that's rounders. that's a good point. They, they could have thrown her melts. That's a good point. And then maybe uh, switched over. Yeah. Maybe Kimberly on the other side just wasn't comfortable. So who knows? Could be. Mm, you, never know. you never know. Oh, hey, what's up, Josh Keck in the chat? How you doing, bud? <laughs> Wherever you're at, dude, I hope you're having a great day. Josh, just, what, where is he? Is he a good 55, 75 feet from us? Not far enough. <laughs> Ooh, short. Pick it up. Clean it. Ryan, the two bags on the ground there, that's going to hurt. Look like you've been paying Kimberly. <laughs> She's like, that's not you. That's not you. 5-0, cup and glass. Oh, Josh is leaving. See you, buddy. Have fun. Where's Josh going? Uh, he's probably just throwing a fit. <laughs> and Anthony over there, he's been talking to uh, Connor for about... An hour and yeah, got to get their game right, They're man. Vibing. I think Connor's uh, using the professor for quite a bit of information. <clears throat> There's Josh. Josh coming out of the toilet. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> no the toilet paper stuck. He's, in the he, he's been out back doing God knows what. Mm. Uh -oh. Fillingham's having a having some bag on the ground issues. Doing something with her shoulder there. Yeah. She got shoulder pain, or maybe she's not feeling her release. But I'm not sure. Josh Keck waving to Wally. Such a sweetheart. Scroll, follow him. I do love the hairline, though. <laughs> well, I can tell. Styled. I mean, you styled know. your hair together. Yep. The old horseshoe. <laughs> it's a shame these sample drinks are so small because the ice is pretty good. It is. It's like the perfect size ice or kind of ice to make. Crushed ice, drink. baby. Yep. It's always the best for uh, for a nice adult beverage. 
What up, Anthony Brunson Jr.? How are you doing, brother? Ooh, man, just can't get it to fall. Another four. You're getting into the doubles bracket here. This is the first round of the shootout. Haven't missed anything. If you guys are just tuning in, it's the first match that we broadcast here. Seven nothing. Round seven, it looks like. Yeah, the Fillinghams are just having 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 trouble finding it. Alan Rawls and Jeremiah Hector up seven to five over Justin Burton Jr. and Logan Chamberlain. Jeremiah Hector. A little timeout. We're going to have a timeout and talk about it. What that is. That's like, I don't know what's wrong with you. You don't know what's wrong with me. But we got to do better. That's that conversation right there. Mom telling son there, you're rocking. Stop rocking. Don't rock the boat. Don't tip the boat over. Corey Gilbert and Andrew Guy, 12 to 3 over Zafton Hadley. So my not uh, defending the turf. Yeah, not not at all. <clears throat> Vanessa just comes right across. Maya follows her. Target fixation, as they would say back in the day. Looks like Devin Harbaugh and Nico Morales off to a much better start than the national. Nico throws an 11.33. Devin throws a 9.5 as they defeat uh, Autumn Nunez and Charlene Simmons. So now they get Tyler Cobb and Alec Bryan. Hmm. 7 4, round 8. I mean, you're right there. You're considering how they played, they're right there. I mean, I feel like Vanessa's got a chance. I, I, I haven't seen Maya have a good round yet. Maybe one, maybe two, but. Gee. Sticky side right into the pile there. Let's see if Ryan can find his game. Just a little tap tap. Tap it. Uh oh, I thought he was going to air me up for a second. <laughs> that looked high. That looked like a high release point. He was trying to block in behind, came yeah. a little left. Hey. Hey, does it doesn't matter work. where it's at if it works, right? Yep. I'm going back block again here. I'm trying to force her to hit that air mill. Guarantee yourself at least one point. Keep the momentum going. And he does. Good placement. She got to shoot it. Or she just give up the three and take the tie. It's going after it. <laughs> you know what? I know this sounds crazy. If you poured that, you're tied. And you're now trailing, and you had a 7 0 lead. That's not what pros do, though. <laughs> pros get in the way of pros. Heard that somewhere. It's a good thing. You mind if I use it? I, 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 I think I know who said it from. Anthony gets all the good ones. Ooh, that, glad that bag hit the hole because it was flying. It's just me. Is there a slice of pizza behind Ryan over here on the ground? There is it's a like slice of pizza right there. there. Yeah. <laughs> just don't step on it. I would have pulled a chair over and set it Ooh, on the fourth chair, bag block. To each their own, I guess. Fourth bag, V block. Shoot it. She did, and she got, that's what she wanted slick out of it. Side. Maya loves throwing the slick side of the bag, though. Wow. Stole a point. Stolen. Great bag to start. Kimberly, something to look. Uh, Wally. The word on the street is you, you feel that Kimberly's going to make a broadcast today. I think so, man. I'm like the one I'm seeing out of her name. <laughs> I'd even put Kim Glass there, too. Hmm. Uh-oh. It's trouble. She's not happy. T-Nuts in the chat. What up? Says the timeout was worth it. It absolutely was. Changed the match. Nate in the chat trying to earn some brownie points. Is that Vanessa's brother? <laughs> Son. Oh, 
Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. that never looked good at all. <laughs> it, that's a, I mean, that stayed on. That never looked good coming out of his hand, so kind of got lucky there. That's one of those misses where you're all like, okay, it's fine. We'll, mm -hmm. we'll make that work. Mm. Hey, it ain't got to be pretty. It just has to go in, right? Are we all tied at nine going into round 11? No, nope, 10 seven. 7. So did I miss a bag? Oh, I did. I forgot a bag on the ground. Bag on the ground. Bag on the ground. Wow. Just just sailing on her. Dave Sutton and Damon Dennis eliminated Dakota Salee and Nate Stevens continue their hot streak. Good day for Nate Stevens. Didn't Nate play really well in Erie? Yep. Dakota did too. Yeah, good for them. All right, we've got a match on hold here. Next match on broadcast court would be, I guess, kind of entertaining if you're into this sort of thing. Tony Smith and Hunter Thorne versus Ryan Windsor and Noah Wooten. Wow, Brad Pack battle. I guess we'll watch it. I'm here for it. Be some shot making in that match. By the way, this one has gotten away from Maya and Kimberly. 12 on answer. Yep. It looks like they're going to close it out unless there's a complete catastrophe with these last two bags, and there is not. Has there been a better use timeout? That may, that's the best timeout I've seen today. Wow. Speaking of timeouts, we're going to take a timeout. During that timeout, you get to watch some commercials. We get to take a two-minute break, but we'll see you on the other side. ACL Nation, you can tell when the baseline's rolling that we're coming back here inside the Legacy Sports Arena, Mesa, Arizona. We're in the desert, shootout number five. We have worked our way through women's singles, men's singles, and now we're into pro doubles. And we've got some Brat Pack action getting ready to come your way as Ryan Windsor, Noah Wooten will take on Tony Smith and Hunter Thorne. Okay, I'm, oh, yeah. Bernie Neighbors joined alongside the K-9, Wally Casser. By the way, Hunter Thorne's over on the broadcast court doing uh, doing God knows what, getting some content done. Come on, Jake. Jack, what's his name? Jack. Yeah. So I'm getting ready to stand up and yell. All right. 
Well, Wally, why don't you run through some brackets for us? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so we just saw Ryan and Vanessa Fillingham use a well-placed timeout. They're going to take on the number one seed, Danny Seals and Yeti Irwan over on court 32. Justin Burton Jr. and Logan Chamberlain complete the comeback over Alan Rawls and Jeremiah Hector. They're now going to take on Ashton Spees and Sarah Cassidy. Winner of this match here is either going to get Mark Lopez or Corey ba and Corey Ballard or Tyler Poitras in Kaylee Hunter. Tyler and Kaylee in the lead there, two to nothing. Tyler Parent and Brevin Valdivio taking on Corey Gilbert and Andrew Guy on court 24. Isabella Soprena and Bobby Hunt four to two over Jonathan Segura and Felix Vargas third. Fisher Hamilton and Gavin Cano six. Josh Holland and Nate Boyer seven. Mm. Remember, Josh Holland and Nate Boyer in Topeka were one win away from making the broadcast in a shootout format, so trying to make the partner squad pay off. Yeah. Tubby Cobb and Tice Cobb will take on Mike Ferreira and Ethan Walker. Over on the right side of the bracket, Alec Ryan and Tyler Cobb going to take on Devin Harbaugh and Nico Morales. How good would it be to have all the Cobbs in the final? I think it would be awesome. That's what we need. All Cobbs all the time. All Cobbs all the time. We pretty much get that now already, though. Yeah. They're up 5-2 to two over Devin and Nico. Um, Cameron Belvin and Connie Altice in a little bit of trouble. Down 11-2 to, to Jacob Foreman and Kobe Costanza. Kayla Bassett and Mark Richards getting ready to take on Florentino Mendoza and Gina Ramirez. As Florentino and Gina eliminate Ty Lopez and Eric Sherney. Philip Lopez Jr. and Jimmy McGuffin tied at zeros with Dakota Slee and Nate Stevens. Jordan Kimbrell and Blaine Rocher 9-4 over the Sesuetas. Bad guy and Jimmy Eumann starting off now on court 36 against Trey Birchfield and Alex Rawls. If you guys want to see that one, all you got to do is put hashtag 36 in the chat, and that will not send you there. <laughs> Jordan Power and Jacob Trzinski 2-1 over Matthew Stout and Travis Craven, and then Dylan Turpin and Caleb Franklin 8-0 over Zach Lewis and Ryan Hart. Wow. So all that work. And, and we're still, still waiting on Hunter uh, Thorne. I gave every match, every score. I'm man. blaming content crew for this one. I don't one. know what else I could do. Content crew, yeah. Content crew ruined this one. They, they took Hunter to do some filming for later, not realizing that he's still in a tournament. I mean, we don't have any time constraints or anything that we need to worry about, do we? It's just a broadcast that's coming up. Were, were you able to flag him down? I saw him walking this way. I have no idea where he went. Um, I might have to go find him. They're probably, they don't, you know, they, content crew doesn't really look at brackets. <laughs> Says it's not my fault. It's coming. not my fault. Kind of hurt my finger there. So I, was I, tapping I saw the that. That was loud. That was <laughs> loud. I heard that through the headphones. I got, I got aggressive. <laughs> I got to tell you, this is an interesting match to me. I, I know that you, you are a avid borderline watcher. Yep. And we talked about Noah a little bit. Uh-huh. And Noah's such a good kid, such a nice guy, and he kind of, I think he looks after some of these guys and kind of got them all invo involved with the whole Brad Pack thing, going out to Shamar's, yada, yada, all that stuff. I don't know if he's got the killer instinct when he plays against his friends. I can see that. You know, you throw him against a Matt guy or someone that he may not have the best feeling about, he's going to dig in and he's going to give you 100%, you know, with all with, with all the fire he's got. But when he plays his friends, I think he kind of just, he doesn't, I don't know if he, if he, if he sells out, I guess is the way I'm trying to say it. He's not hurt if he loses. I can dig it. I can dig it. I think one thing about Windsor, though, is whenever he plays with Windsor, these are uh, limited times that he can do this. So he is always locked in with Windsor. It's like they're all about business. Uh, something about coming out here to the West whenever uh, Windsor and Noah team up, it's just money. So I'm not sure that's going to apply to the situation, we'll especially, especially with bragging rights on the line. Oh, yeah. Well, I believe these bags are live, Wally. Let's go. Ryan Windsor throwing against Tony Smith. That's not bad. How about a short bag to start? Oh, no, it stayed on. I like it. I like it. Cover up that logo and work it up the board. It works. Okay. And Sparky coming over here with the uh, last-minute hat swap for Tony Smith. 
Nice. Tony's got two hats down there somewhere. Oh, that was unlucky. Bag just kind of hopped on him, turned over. I'm swapping out hats. So most have seen Tony miss all month. And oh, there it goes. How about a wash? Let's start with a wash. It's pretty fly shoes Noah's rocking. They are pretty fly for a white guy. <laughs> See, you can say that. <laughs> Why can't you? <laughs> <laughs> it's a song, man. It's a song. It is a song. I hate that band, too. Oh, man. Hope they don't like Cornhole. <laughs> Hope the offspring's not watching. But man. <laughs> See you next week at the next Super Bowl, Bernie. <laughs> I did not like the offspring. <laughs> but how do you really feel? Mm. I can't know a collected. Good bag. Really, it, it amazes me yeah, how yeah. hard Noah throws, and he's able to pick these collects up yeah. on the sticky side. I think. Yeah, what do you think the this final score is going to be here? Like eight six. I'm going three to two. Hmm. Right Ooh. now, right now we're not even on pace for three to two. Tell you what, I, I enjoyed my little my little uh, sample from the folks behind us. You want another one? Thinking about it. It was good. Which one did you get me? Seven and seven. Is that legal? Mm -hmm. Ooh! Wow, that's weird. The old triple clutch timeout. Yeah, that, that was kind of bizarre. Hey, if you ain't feeling it, you ain't feeling it. Yeah. I mean, it was just weird the way he looked in his face. It was just like he could not get comfortable. You know what? I, it brings up an interesting point. I, I don't know if you followed baseball in the late 90s, early 2000s when Chuck Knobloch played for the Yankees, but when he started getting the yips and he could not throw it to first base. Couldn't do it. Well, uh, From second to first, couldn't make the throw. Ryan Zimmerman as well yeah. a few years ago. And I'm wondering if we're ever going to find a player that just gets, like, has that same kind of thing happen to where they just can't throw it. We saw it with DK about a year or two, two years ago. You know, he would always go through the yips like five or six different times when yeah. he was finally throw. Mm, and sit on top. Never got quite far enough right for that roll. And then Hunter immediately takes that away. He looks like he's not happy with that, but that's a win. Yeah. Here comes another one further right. He oh, wanted to cut it. I think he can slide through there. I think there's enough there. The thing is, he needs to make sure he hits either that bag or to the left of that bag. Oh, wow. Didn't have enough on it. I don't know, man. I think they're I jammed up. Yeah, so I didn't think it was going to go. Or I didn't think it was not going to go. Take a look at it. I mean, I don't. We're just double checking to make sure nothing's going to fall here. I mean, I think he hit the pile hard enough for something to fall if they're going to fall, but we'll see. Maybe an airmail could take him. I don't know. I mean, they're looking at it pretty intently. I mean, they're all kind of staring at it like, I can't believe those bags didn't go. Am I seeing something, or am I not seeing something that Noah's seeing? Is he, he somehow thinking he could get that bag to fall? If he goes on, oh. Yeah, I think he was hoping they would fall when they hit the board. That was, yeah, that's strange. No, for a second, it looked like he was down there discussing. He was point made a section. I thought he was going to go after it. I was like, what? Discretion, the better part of Valor there. 8 2 nothing though. Let's go a little side by side. Win behind. Devin Harbaugh and Nika Morales eliminate Alec Ryan and Tyler Cobb. 
Cameron Belvin, Connie Altice, also eliminated from Jacob Foreman and Kobe Costanza, and then Jordan Kimberlin, and Blaine Rozier take out the that's, Suedas. That's such a ridiculous bag, by the way. That Missed little it. replay. That little cut, rut. It's filthy. Coming all the way across the board. Just looks like there. Nice job pushing into it. We've got uh, Mike Ferrer, Ethan Walker up 15 to 7 over the Cobbs. They'll take on Fisher Hamilton and Gavin Cano if they can finish off that one. And to tie it up. That's all the updates I've got for you right now. Final score was 3 to 2. It still might happen. <laughs> I'll tie it to two. That one was left all the way. Hmm. Interesting. Such a good bag. I wonder if I'll get in trouble if I ask Connor to come over and commentate with us. I don't think so. Oh, he's yeah. Talent. He's talent. Talent, yeah. It's, it's too late in the day, actually. Yeah, too close to the time. Yeah. If he, if you could have gotten him earlier. Too, too close to game time now. Slick side does not go where you want it to. At least it's one to fall. Snuck in the there. He's gonna, gonna cross the fingers. Cross the fingers. He knows there's a shot here for Hunter. He might be able to get them both with an air mill. Doesn't go after the air mill. Go slick side. Gets and them both gets that him. way. Wow! Big round. Give him six. So the three two's gone. Three two's out the window. By the way, there was an awkward knuck, kind of a half awkward knuckle there. You kind of missed. Did I think I? I think Hunter extended and no was looking the other way. What happened? <laughs> I never miss it. That's a big six spot in this kind of matchup. There's time, though. Can eat away at twos. Job there by Ryan pushing into that pile. He's got a better angle at this than Tony does. Oh wow! How about I just take them all? Yeah, I'll just, just take I, all. I don't know what to do here, so <laughs> I'll just take everything in the hole. Nice shot. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm not really sure what I want to do, so I'm just going to take all of it. Uh oh, they got a score discrepancy. It was it was six. Noah's trying to say that round was four. That's why you shouldn't play with bags that are the exact same color. That was a long time ago. I mean, I got it on replay here, don't I? Let's see here. Does this tell us anything? Yeah. If you can play that out. Let's see. That's a six. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. <laughs> I just work here. <laughs> My fault. Yeah. Might have make it happen, Wally. Oh, <laughs> now I immediately mess up every transition. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all the transitions <laughs> are messed up. <laughs> well, like, when you come back from a replay, it's on auto transition, so then it switch screens, and I just messed everything up. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. All right, Danny Seals and Yeti Irwan, 9-2 to two right now with the filling in. Winner of that one gets Justin Burton Jr. and Logan Chamberlain. Dangerous Danny Seals. I'm seeing a lot of people walk around back of house for the broadcast that I've never seen before. Well, they found the uh, tote that all, uh, had all the VIP passes in it. 
Yeah, I guess. Connor getting a little interview in with uh, tonight's women's singles contestant. He's like, I have no idea what you mean by roll shot. <laughs> Wow. Tony Smith is still really good at cornhole, by the way. So you're saying that uh, week off hasn't done him any injustice? <laughs> no. Ooh, that was a... Went after it, got unlucky. Worst possible result, rimmed out on the airmail, and it flies off the board. Now he's got to try to minimize damage. He could be in trouble here. So good. Oh, wow. Give him five. Give him five. Make it 13 to two. Round 10. Uh oh. Wheels have come off a little bit. And that's why I think it's tough playing friends, man. It's super hard. Especially two friends that are on the top of their game right now. Yeah. No. Frustration. Wow, this is, yeah. This match could be over in this round. Wow. Hunter Thorns is ridiculous right now. No. No, it's done. That was, yeah. That was, I don't even think he was trying to make that, and it just nothing but that. Yeah, we did ask Tony, by the way. We interviewed him on our show. I'm sure you got a chance to watch it. I did. I, I brought you up. We asked Tony about just uh, kind of letting it go there at the end against Fisher Hamilton. He said, I was just tired. I was done. Yeah. Fisher wasn't missing. <laughs> Played back to back to back to back. Yeah. I, was like, I was like, you know you're allowed five minutes in between each match, right? He's like, oh, I didn't do anything about that. <laughs> I said, dude, I would just sit there on the mat and call five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> just wait. Matter of fact, you might even do a little mind game, get in your opponent's head if they... Pull a Philip Lopez and take every second possible. I mean, if they see you at the court ready to play the game, you, and like, you're just you sitting stare there. at them for five whole minutes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but stare at them. Yeah, just stare. <laughs> like, literally just stare on the mat. Watch them throw bags down and back. 19 to 2. Wow, we're last round, so this match is over. So Tony Smith, Hunter Thorne. Airmail? Yeah. Continue to be white hot players. See, so you could say that. <laughs> Did he just throw both back? <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> And that's going to do it. Tony Smith and Hunter Thorne, an emphatic win over Brad Pack friends, Ryan Windsor and Noah Wooten. All right, we're going to be back with more pro doubles action when we come back to Mesa, Arizona, right after this.
All right, chat, welcome back here to Mesa, Arizona. We're finishing up the shootout number five. Got our next match set up here for the broadcast court. We're getting Justin Burton Jr. and Logan Chamberlain taking on the number one seed here in Danny Seals and Yeti Irwan. Again, we are at the single elimination portion of the tournament. We're going to try and whittle it down to two players to see who's going to make broadcast tonight. Winner of this match is either going to play Tony Smith and Hunter Thorne or Tyler Poitras and Kaylee Hunter. That match is getting started over on court 24. On court 25, Corey Gilbert and Andrew Guy will take on Isabella Soprena and Bobby Hunt. On court 23, Fisher Hamilton and Gavin Cano up 5-2 to two over Mike Ferreira and Ethan Walker. Other side of the bracket on court 26, Jacob Foreman and Kobe Costanza 19-6 over Devin Harbaugh and Nico Morales. Philip Lopez Jr. and Jimmy McGuffin taking on Caleb Batson and Mark Richards on court 28. Trey Birchfield and Alex Rawls taking on Jordan Kimberlin and Blaine Rozier on court 29. And then on court 27, Jordan Power and Jake Trzinski 13-3 in the lead right now over Dylan Turpin and Caleb Franklin. Those are all the teams that remain. Everyone else has been eliminated. I'll do my best to keep you guys updated on those scores. Looks like they're going to go down and back a second time, which is fine. Everything is fine. Seagram's Plinko board going in full effect. Everybody having fun over there behind us. And then they're going to finish the down and backs over here on the left hand side. Fisher Hamilton and Gavin Cano finish off Mike Ferreira and Ethan Walker now. And if you guys are just tuning in, Cameron Belvin will take on uh, Gina Ramirez for the Women's Shootout Championship. Over in the Men's Shootout Championship, we got Hunter Thorne, and he will take on Mark Richards. All right, I think we got things figured out. Starting things off, thank you, sir. Starting things off over here on the right-hand side, Logan with the spin. They got it all figured out. Here we go. Thumbs up in the air. These bags are live. Bernie, welcome back. How are you, sir? Good, 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 Sorry, good. things got a little, the lines got a little hectic over there. You didn't miss a thing, brother. We're good. Let me know what you think of this. This is uh, my concoction. Uh -oh. Is that a cherry in there? Mm -hmm. I like cherries. Good job cutting different. around. Oh, that should go. It's on the slick side. Yeah. Ooh. Well, he's tried to pin it. Going to go after it. Might as well. Bang. Shot there from Logan. Logan Chamberlain still doing Logan Chamberlain things. 
I'm not the sidekick anymore. He is. <laughs> it's a perfect airmail drag. I love the quick fist pumps. Yes. Those are the ones you just can't contain yeah. yourself. Yeah, emphatic. Natural. Yep. natural. Emphatic, if you will. Oh, you already said that? Hmm. Maybe. Dude, look at Gina Ramirez. Just, just take it. She's got all the family in town. Pictures. That's a cool thing, right? You get a broadcast. You just pick up the phone. But hey, I made it. Come down the street. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Twenty minutes away. Get off work early. It's still Friday. It's so ridiculous, man. All the food. Production crew gets all the good food. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is bag number four, too far to the left. Oh, Yeti trying to. To drain in there on the side, that's probably going to come. A little sticky replace. Side, yep, straight sticky side, speed control game. Logan's just going to try and go in without helping her out at all. A little side by side, I think he likes it. Ooh. I see all those are, all and those I are, yeah, you I think one. all those are going. Oh. Drop a backside on him one time, Just Yeti. do it, Yeti. Short. It's going to go in behind just to give up two. No, to get two. Yeah. Excuse me. That would have been awesome if she had dropped it. Oh, and then flexed on him? Yeah. <laughs> what now, punk? I Whoa. thought that was kind of dangerous, kind of laying up, because it almost felt like Logan's could have dripped in. That probably would have been the most shocking thing ever if Yeti would have drained it and then said, what now, punk? <laughs> Like, could, that, you, could that, you have seen anything else? That, that would have been something. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that would have taken everyone <laughs> off guard there. What now? Uh, yet he's been saving that for yeah. years. He's killing everybody with politeness for that moment. In for two. Ooh. Okay, we're just taking turns on the fourth bag yips, huh? Yeah, that's uh, not something you would have seen a few weeks back. How can I try out to be an ACL pro? Plenty of ways, man. Open tournaments, qualifier. Women's and seniors and juniors rankings as well, just a bunch of different things. Not bad, sir, not bad. Did you end up getting food? I got a couple slices of pizza. I don't know, I mean, it's not very thick pizza. I don't know how much that's gonna hold me. Got to get you the next one. Like yeah, well. yeah. I gotta say, man, I was really, really concerned with this off-season partnership with Yeti and Danny, but they have impressed me. It seems like every time you look at brackets, their name is either deep or having great rounders. Sure. And they're, they're throwing very well. And shootout format seems to be kind of right up their alley. They're, they're smart players. They don't take too many risks. Yep. Surprised we haven't seen celebrities rolling in yet, you know? Yeah, I, I'm wondering if Stacy's gonna corral them all in uh, here in a little while. Yeah. A little entourage. There's probably a green room somewhere in this building, I would imagine, where they are located. I don't think you're gonna see them walk through, but I could be wrong. I would imagine they'll walk in the back and go to some special room, even if they do walk in the back. 
you know, they don't have time to be bothered. At some point, someone's going to have to send me some information on some of these folks. <laughs> well, I'll help you out. Might just have to. They are all ladies. Yeah. What did I, what did I have to say? Some for the Olympians. Vlog? Yeah. I already forgot what I said. Anything for my lady? What, what was my saying? I can't remember. Yeah, I don't either. I don't do well with scripts. It's not so Anything much the script. Anything for my favorite lady. That it's just, you know, their their agents want certain things said. Yeah. And I don't blame them. I don't blame them. Sure. Just kind of enjoy it now. She's getting her oh, yeah. all the, interview time. All the handshaking, the interviews. Oh, is that going to fall? There it goes. Little drip. Are we all tied up? Would you look at that? All tied full. Round number eight. Justin capitalize and get Logan those two points back. That bag looked better out of his hand. That first bag kind of wobbled a little bit on Danny. Doesn't have the most picturesque bag anyway, and it just kind of came out odd. Much better. Looks like Devin and Nico's run comes to an end. Jacob Foreman and Kobe stands at advance. This would have been a fun one to watch. We've got uh, Philip Lopez Jr. and Jimmy McGuffin in the lead, six to five over Caleb Batson and Mark Richards. Dangerous Dan, two loose bags, going to give up four, double them up, make it eight four. Chamberlain and Burton Jr. You know what we could get on broadcast, and I just thought about it right now. So Hunter Thorne and Tony Smith had planned to team up for this one a long time. Yeah. And on the other side of the bracket, continuing to roll over teams right now is Jordan Power and Jake Krasinski. That would be interesting. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, that I could mean, be fun. It, it, it would be a lot of fun. I'm wondering if the trash talking would come out. You know what I mean? But it would be such. <laughs> it'd be fun. It'd be different, yeah. Yeah. There'd be no venom in it. It's a great bag from Logan. Uh oh. Oh no. oh, no. That's not what you want there. Five spot never helps. Make it 13 4. Hung on for so long. Yeah. And that big mistake of the round. I mean, two time. rounds ago, we're tied at four, and all of a sudden, it's 13 4. And that's, that's just the difference between your elite level players. Even in the pro division, you're just not allowed to make the mistakes. You, you will pay. Bill Child wants to see some stats on the screen, but he did it in a rude way, so he didn't say please. I don't know. Oh, that's Yeti. We got you, Bill. We got you. Justin throwing an 11. It's not bad, is it? A 9 5 DPO. Can't be right. PPO. No. Your opponent, opponent's PPO. Yeah. I threw a seven DPR yesterday. Just saying. Threw a seven, huh? Yeah, this is the first game. It was all downhill after the shots kicked in. Shots are never good, man. Right, who's going to pull the trigger first? The professor's over there causing trouble, it looks like. Honestly, well, I think he might have been trying to slick side cut around that. There's the airmail I was talking about. Big shot. You got to take a time out here and try and figure out how to get all of this. Got to have it. Love the excitement coming from Justin Burton Jr. right now on your screen. Showing all types of emotion after that airmail. Bang. 
big hit. Yeah. Seals the deal. That is what we call the nail in the coffin. Let's see what Danny has in store here. He's going to doesn't really throw it that hard, so this is going to be a tough shot for Danny. Coming in hot. Hey. Good attempts. Wow. That's another, that's another five spot. So a 4-4 game in three rounds has gone to 18-4. All you got to do is score 14 points against the number one team in the world in two rounds. That's it. That's all you got to do. Bang some sevens on him. I think it's over, Bernie. I, I, I'm going to agree with him. Well, I, I think it's all over with the crime. Oh, I like it. Strategic block right here to try and make. Never mind. Yeah, never mind. Yeah. You know, there's just not that many players left who don't throw with velocity. You know, maybe a Mac guy, maybe a Damon Dennis can get away with it. But if you don't have some sort of velocity and a decent spin rate, it's getting to a point where you can't really compete at the elite level anymore. Yeah, you have to be, like, I mean, like Josh Holland doesn't really do it, but. Josh can, if he has to. Attempt. <laughs> yeah, if Josh has to, he can, yeah. he can put some stick on it. I mean, you have to up your game to ridiculous accuracy percentages in order to compete anymore. All, right, all he's got to do is get 16 points here. <laughs> yeah, it's they all, they just find a way to put pressure on you to get the 16 out of 12. What a good game going on over there on uh, what court is that? Uh, court 28. Oh, yeah. Philip Lopez Jr. and Jimmy McGuffin in round 11 with Caleb Batson and Mark Richards tied at 11. Wow. Well, that's going to do it for this one. Logan Chamberlain, Justin Burton Jr. doing what they normally do. They will move on in the bracket. We're going to come back Mesa, Arizona with more pro doubles action right after this.
ACL Nation, we are back. Wally switching up the intro music on me. Remix! But we, we are back inside the Legacy Sports Arena, Mesa, Arizona. We're in the desert for shootout number five. We've already gone through women's singles where Cameron Belvin will take on Gina Ramirez. Gina making her broadcast court debut for the women's singles championship in the men's singles. Hunter Thorne, Mark Richards will throw it down for the men's singles championship. And we are right now working our way through the brackets in pro doubles. As always, I am Bernie Neighbors, joined alongside the K-9, Wally Kassler, Josh Keck trying to get me to mess up but can't do it. Whoa, whoa. It seems that, like uh, Auto Assign has done a pretty good job today. It, it has. Auto Assign has worked out. Way to like go, Josh. kind of dropped the ball in that Philip Lopez Jr. Mark Richards match, though. <laughs> Take a look at that one real quick while they're going down and back for like three, maybe four times or whatever they decided to go with. But Philip Lopez Jr. did pretty well. 11.33 against Caleb Batson's 10.5. Mark Richards threw a 10.33 against Jimmy McGuffins. If you guys know math, that means they won 17 to 11. Look at all them 12 packs. Holy. So that match is now set. Jimmy McGuffin and Philip Lopez How about Jr. It? will take on Jacob Foreman and Kobe Costanza. How about it? Winner of that match will play the winner of this one. Man, we're already going here. It's already 4-0, Trzinski and Power. Well, they said they are going to go down and back three times. They lied to you. Hey, uh, well, that, the commission's made his way in. Oh, no glasses. Struggling. <laughs> <laughs> you can see it in his face. Justin Burton Jr. and Logan Chamberlain up 2-0 over Tony Smith and Hunter Thorne. You know, you get to a certain point in a the bracket, then you're like, ooh, I want to see that one. No, I want to see that one, too. Yeah. Like, hold them all. I want to well, see them there's all. A, there's a few too many to, tech, to take in. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen here, Wally, because at some point we've got to do introductions and all that fun stuff on the broadcast court in an hour. Yeah, we'll be done by then. We only got two matches left. Is that right? So the winner of these two matches play each other to get to this round. And then at that point, we go down the final two teams. So, yeah, two more matches, I believe. Okay. What are they looking at here? How I'll take got? your word for it. Decision time, huh? Newly graduated Ashley over there bringing in some water to Jordan. Congratulations to her. Yeah, way to go. Engagement ring on the way, maybe, Jordan? Oh, man. Call, calling him out. Wow. On, oh, man, that is tough. Shoot your shot. It's a tough crowd, bro. The front's going to start going crazy. I'm like, you've always said thumbs up. Oh, <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm going to have to go get guys off the court over there. Pros are funny, man. You got to kick them off. I don't even think those are pros. Anthony Mayball and somebody else, isn't it? I don't think Mayball's even here. Is it not him? Roybal. It's Chris Roybal, I believe. I can't even see that far. I don't even know why I'm trying to guess. <laughs> you got the L, right? I mean, I can't even see the faces. Still four nothing. Nice back block there from Jacob. Mmm, that's a little unlucky from Trey. Trey's bag with him. In for five, and he'll get it. Mm. Lead chain 
change off that missed aerial Lead attempt. change. Let's look at this one more again, setting up that round off of the Jake Trzinski miss off the side. First shot here from Alex is blocker right on the red zone, his side though. That is a statuesque beauty right there. What'd I do? One of the uh, celebrities walking in with Marlon. Got a leaner. Should fall back in. And there it goes. Alex misses too far to the left. Let's Jordan off the hook. And Jordan lets him off the hook. Mm. So he mm -hmm. misses too far to the side. It's a lot of off the hooks. 7 4 now. There by Trey sneaking around. Jacob's got the sneaking work. Sneaking around, just sneaking. Sneaky, sneaky. Jake does get a corner of it though, brings it back uh -huh. in closer to the hole. Wow, that's unlucky. He didn't, can't believe that one. I think his mind is already made up here to go for the airmail now to get them all. He wants permission. Jordan gives it to him. Oh, kind of rookie doesn't have their phone on Byrood. It, you can't hear it. Oh, going up. Oh, well, got one of them. Gets the wash. Quick update on some scores. Jacob Foreman, Kobe Costanza, 3-2 over Philip Lopez Jr. and Jimmy McGuffin. Over there on uh, court 25, Corey Gilbert and Andrew Guy, zero. Fisher Hamilton, Gavin Cano, six. And then Tony Smith and Hunter Thorne now take the lead, 62 over Justin Burton Jr. and Logan Chamberlain. Looks like it's a pretty good day, the concession stands. Uh oh, that one, yeah, that, you could tell that one got out of his, that one left his hand wrong. He didn't like that one as soon as it left. That's probably the third or fourth time we've seen him bring a card over. Uh, that's what I'm saying. It's a big day over there. You can never underestimate the power of one of players drinking. <laughs> they will drink bad beer all day. Yeah, looks like the celebs are heading to the green room away from us. Bye, have a good time. I'll see you guys. Oh, Kimberly Glass, hugging up Kimberly Glass. Okay. <laughs> Off to the side, but he should still be able to collect that bag. I think he wanted to leave that one there, but 13 to 4 lead, not gonna not gonna worry about it too much. Ooh, a chance for five here. Wow. That changes things. But he gave it away. He's gonna get three, but he had to get five there. Five completely changes this match. Jordan said, I think it was somewhere like, gosh darn it or something. <laughs> yeah, Got the I think that's on. exactly what that was. It just muffled. I couldn't make it out. A little bit of an echo, you know. All right, that's how you got to do it, though. Block bag number one, forces him off to the side. Now you want to replace. You got three rounds, two rounds, you know, two points for the next three rounds. You got to tie a game, so. 
Oh, he wants to block in this situation. He's hmm. trying to go in. I think a replace may have been a good call there. I think so, too. He said sit. And he threw that bag, so he wanted to just lay in on top. He does have Trey thinking, though. I think Trey's going to sit. I'll say, he just, yeah, you're, you're in the lead. Bought by six. Here's a chance coming in hard through the middle. He's got a big opportunity here to grab some bags. He's got bumpers. Oh, but it came left out of his hand. Tony Smith and Hunter Thorne, 11 to 5 over Justin Burton Jr. and Logan Chamberlain. Huh. Yeah. Good bag from Trey Birchfield. Corey Gilbert and Andrew Guy take the lead over Fisher Hamilton and Gavin Cano. Wow. Good that to is them. In round eight. Good bag from Truszynski. He cannot believe he threw that one off. It's a completely different game if he doesn't throw that one off because you're staring at four points. If he doesn't, it would be 13-11 as is. Probably going to get a point out of that. Yep, just get one. So some big opportunities. I mean, that's, that's six points. In two yeah, rounds, Jordan and you're down five. Jordan so, and Jacob have had their chances to win this game. Yep. Well, no, five points. I mean, yeah, it should be a tie game right now. But it's not. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. And again. Let's him off the hook. He yeah. misses too far to the side. Yeah, they just can't believe it. Both of them shaking their heads. They've had, look, they're probably not going to win this match, and they've been given every opportunity to do it. Oh, yeah. But if you're five. Birchfield and Rawls, you got to feel like, hey, we tried to give it away, and we couldn't do it. They wouldn't take it. So you got to feel good going forward. By five, final few bags left to go here. Got to get a little desperate at times. Starts with the back block there. He's had, finally yeah. got a back block. <laughs> He's liking it. Can he force five points out of this round? Trey just set up going up. Uh, I don't know why. Yeah. That's why. I mean, you hit it, but you didn't need to. Right. I'm with you. Seals the deal, though. Yep. Ah, we saw that uh, Trzinski. We saw that Trzinski gave Philip Lopez a slight out. Well, that probably week. does it right there. And he took advantage of it. Here's a back block. Game is over. Going for a hard collect. Some awkward knuckles in the middle of the shot. Doesn't matter. Birchfield goes in with the final bag. Birchfield and Rawls find a way. They tried to give it away. But they didn't want to take it from him. All right, kids. We're going to be back. Mesa, Arizona. More pro doubles action when we come back to the Legacy Sports Arena. See you then.
ACL Nation, we are back. Legacy Sports Arena, Mesa, Arizona, in the desert for shootout number five. We've got pro doubles action winding down. You see kind of some of the show courts that are outside the streaming court here as we get closer and closer to finishing out our pro doubles bracket. See Stacy there comforting uh, yeah. uh, Corey Gilbert. Light, light skin wants to talk about a haircut. Uh, Life skin just got eliminated throwing with Andrew Guy. They've been waiting on him because he's got to play in the Super Bowl. Yeah. But uh, he just got eliminated by Fisher Hamilton and Gavin Cano. So he was close to a uh, double broadcast. But we are going to get that next match up here. Tony Smith and Hunter Thorne will take on Fisher Hamilton and Gavin Cano. The other side, the match is set. Jacob Foreman and Kobe Costanza will take on Trey Birchfield and Alex Rawls. So. I think we probably need to do one last commercial while we wait for them to get their way over here to the broadcast court. I saw Gavin, obviously. Um, I don't know. Not really a bracket to go through, so. You know what? We are going to take one more break. We're going to go back to break when we have a match. Hopefully we'll be back in just a couple. Well, here we go. We got Fisher and Gavin. So you're telling me Hunter and Tony are going to be a little late to the board. That Actually, is shocking. Uh, I don't I believe just it. I got some inside information. That is shocking. That is shocking. I, I don't have any proof of this. Okay. Okay. But I was told by a pro player that Hunter Thorne threw out of turn, which would have cost them the game, but the other team didn't call it. So Hunter Thorne and Tony Smith win 12 to 7. So I find that hard to believe. Interesting. I find that hard to believe. Interesting. I, I, I saw who told you, but I just find it hard to believe that in a match that meant that much, that no one would know who was supposed to throw. We'll see how the gossip train works the rest of the day, though. But there you see the match is going to start over there on, I believe that's court 25. Yeah, so court 25, Trey Birchfield and Alex Rawls will take on Jacob Foreman and Kobe Costanza. And then uh, Hunter Thorne and Tony Smith should be making their way here soon. Should be. It was a long journey from seven steps <laughs> away. <laughs> Literally, just so you know at home, that court is, I would say, maximum 20 feet away from our court. Well, here, here's the edge of the court. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. Yeah, yeah, it's right there. So I don't know where exactly they went. But like you said, they got five minutes. Maybe, yeah, maybe Tony took my advice now. Right. So you want to tell you what, let's go to break. We'll do one more break and we come back. Hopefully we'll have that match for you. Sounds good, brother. All right. We will come back to Mesa, Arizona and have some more pro doubles action right after this.
ACL Nation, we are back. Legacy Sports Arena. Pro doubles action as we get further and further down in the brackets. We are getting closer and closer to see who's going to be playing on the broadcast tonight. Got a great match getting ready to throw down for you right now. Tony Smith and Hunter Thorne going up against Fisher Hamilton and Gavin Cano. I'm Bernie Neighbors joined alongside the K9. Wally Castler. Wally, what's up, brother? Man, look at these numbers. Sevens hitting, bro. Sevens. The sevens board's killing it. It's all about the Seagram seven board. All about it. I heard there's a hidden bonus if you can get it to stop on a peg three times in your life. Uh, I mean, how crazy is that? <laughs> I mean, so, that's that's only, only happens to legends. Legends. That's I mean, how that's legends are made. That's mystifying. It's confusing too. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob Foreman and Kobe Casanza five. Trey Birchfield, Alex Rawls four. That match started a little bit before this one. They're in round number four over there. They're going to go down and back, finish things off here, and uh, get ready to get this one underway to figure out who makes the broadcast. I'm not sure Tony and Hunter knew they had another game to play or if they thought maybe four teams make broadcast or what? I, I don't know. I mean, they could be getting the doubles at the National Confused because we had four teams there. Yeah. Yeah, With uh, you get you just get finals tonight. Final, final, final. That's your hour. All right, here we go. Let's do it, brother. Regardless, though, man, it's uh, pretty impressive to see Fisher and Gavin yet again deep in a shootout bracket. Man, I think they got this format down. Truth. Back to back, second place finishes on ESPN the last two uh, shootouts. By the way, did someone turn on an air conditioning unit like right above me or something? It is ice cold where I'm sitting. I'm feeling a little gust. There's another seven. <laughs> I'm just amazed by all these sevens hitting the second seven. Oh, a six. So Ooh. close. So close. Tony off the back. Did they spin and go live? They, I believe these bags are live, my friend. Ooh, ah. ooh. Fisher gave it back to him. Tony goes in here, can escape this round with one on the ground. And he does. Great job going slick side with that one. Fisher staring down in disappointment. Yeah. That's kind of like, gave one away there. It's like Tony's getting some assistance from the uh, Tony's, Tony's bar. Had a He's ta <laughs> tangled in the curtains over there. We almost lost Tony. <laughs> we almost lost the curtain. <laughs> Five and Drave almost came crashing down. Oh, Hunter Thorne doesn't care about just dropping roll bags on people. Oh, great oh. collect. What is that? go back and look at the TV schedule. Was this Tony going for three broadcasts in a row? Well, he here, in Miami? here in Miami. Was he in Miami? Yeah, he won Miami. That's right. So, yeah, that's three broadcasts in a row for Tony Smith. How good is that? If he's able to win this match, I should say. about it. Nick, Nick is here. Nick could be the DJ tonight. DJ mm -hmm. Nick. Nick who? Oh, Nick. Yeah. Are you DJing tonight? Are you DJing tonight? No? No DJ. No DJ. Now play it. Spotify Shuffle. Looks like Fisher's starting to get a little bit of that head movement back in his throw. Kind of Seemed to fix it a little bit last time, but he's just off a little bit to the left here this game. Yeah. Only three to nothing, though. Fisher's trying to get his uh, head back in the game. Whoa. Almost knocked over the mic stand. Easy. Easy, bro. Easy, bro. Hmm. That one looked a touch left out of his hand. All right, I got a question for you, uh, chat and Wally. Oh, I'm looking chat. at Hunter Thorne's pants. Uh -huh. Have those just been washed and faded, or are those orange? Because when you look at them, 
feel like they're orange. Not on camera. They okay. look like they're faded red, but if you look at them on camera, they look orange. I'm very colorblind, so I'm going to say they're I, uh, I, Woo! Seagram 7, do it. Dude, killing it. That was only a single 7, though. Oh, a 7-6 again. Mm, good bag. We should, we should just go live and broadcast the Seagram wall. What <laughs> right. up, Cat? How you doing, Cat? Cat's in the chat. Cat's in the chat. Deborah Odom as well. How you doing, Deborah? Dad. Cat's in the chat t-shirt. By the way, Cat, if you're in the chat, you should see the book that I got sent on our contestants tonight. <laughs> I mean, the introductions are going to last an hour. Landing point, a touch left there on that roll. Gavin goes up, a little trampoline off the back. If you're wondering, chat, that we've been joking about it. Those are actually my fans behind me yelling. Yeah, yeah. Every time Bernie says something smart. <laughs> oh, unlucky. He, he was, they were trying to figure out what he was saying. Yeah. He said, roll. He said, what? He said, roll. And he yelled at it. He's like, okay, fine. <laughs> And he almost got the cut by yeah. the missed roll, so it almost worked out. Again, a little bit more strategery going on here. Let's strategery. see what they end up with. I don't know if that's going to stay, though. There's a cut here for Gavin. I think Gavin can get this. It's there. I'd, I'd be I'd be a little worried if I was Hunter. That bag, that bag seems... Oh, no, it stayed. Actually got away with it again. 7-0. Took him an hour and a half to get to the court, but they've taken full advantage of it. A little strategic timeout now. Let's take a look at this uh, last airmail here from Gavin. Hmm. Barely well, missed it. Well, just stepping on the board. That's never good. Flip that back over. What are you talking about? Seamless. <laughs> Just ridiculous. Good roll there from Tony. I believe they're using Hunter's bags, if I'm not mistaken. Hunter said, I'm tired of using other people's bags. I'm not good with anyone else's stuff except for my own. And since he has made that conscious decision, he has been on fire. Taken down an open, good run here. Going deep in pretty much every single bracket. Hmm. Oh, oh, he just did the hardball. Cross fingers. Yep. There's the trampoline again. These airmails just all look short. I am not a fan of short airmails. Not. It works like 10% of the time. Someone let a polar vortex into this building because it's it is an <laughs> ice box where I'm sitting right now. Great bag. Gavin coming in hot, going off the back. Six I too far to the yeah, left. He's not gonna be too worried about it. He's gonna get three more. Got help there. Yep. I do got to say that Fisher and Gavin might be putting a little bit too much pressure on themselves in these situations when they fall down. Their mental 
like vibes that they're you know, just give me yeah. they're giving me a defeat vibes and it's not even close to over sometimes. Like now it's thirteen nothing now, but I feel like I've had this vibe from them for like five rounds now. Right. I mean they're there, man. They are at the top of the sure. food chain as far just as gotta, couples teams go. Just gotta this find is, a way to get over the hump. Just keep in mind this is their rookie season. Right. Good job. Almost Good point. Gets that one to go. So I mean this is very very impressive what they're doing in their rookie season. Bang! Big hit there. Off the snide. Let's see if that can get the spark flying. Got three rounds. Come up with 11 points. Tony tried getting off the hole, but Fisher brings it back in. Starting off with the block here from Gavin. There you go. There's the little corner there. Let's see if Hunter takes the bait. Keeps chasing her. If that bag's going to get worked back in here. Not worried Gavin wanted that one. Now he can't collect it. Hmm. Well, either a roll or a little cover here from uh, Gavin. Just go right at his own bag. Kind of get the angle over. Too uh, far left. A little left. I think you'll slick side here. You're up 13 to 2. It's sure. round 10. You get sure. the fall. Great. If not, no worry. Yeah. Can't, he can't believe it. I guess there's a worry. I don't know. <laughs> it's only two points, man. It's okay. <laughs> I just think he like felt like, he, like, how do those not fall? Yeah. But again, you don't need yeah. them to fall early. I, mean, I would like to think you've made this far in the tournament. You're not going to give up a nine. Giving wow. Up a two How fine. about the announcer jinx just flying out all of a sudden? If it happens, it happens, man. I would <laughs> be great for content. <laughs> There's one off the side. <laughs> There's three of them. <laughs> if Fisher can collect this. Interesting. Short airmail, but stays in play. How about that bag? That's what he was wanting on the first bag. Wow, pretty good bag from Fisher. It's kind of like a toilet bowl. <laughs> That's the way it yeah. <laughs> hit the back and you know, like spun around in there. Yeah, so pretty nice replace. replace. You got Jeez. it. You got to get one of these two. You got to get the three points out of this. It's still going to be hard, though. Sure. Sure. I don't see Hunter Thorne giving you a set. Wow. Oh, you're going to get one. Can't believe it. Oh, you're getting two. They're going to throw it away again. Huh. Perfectly fine. Going into round two. It's not like you're going to give up seven in the final round. Yeah, I would I would think that would be a hard ask. Jacob Foreman and Kobe Costanza defeat Trey Birchfield and Alex Rawls. Wow. So Jacob Foreman and Kobe Costanza will play the winner of this one on broadcast. And right now it's looking like it's Tony Smith and Hunter Thorne a few bags away from Hmm. Dubbing our matchup. We will see. Got to find a way to get seven and one time. About a timeout. I think you got to go and one. And then get crazy on the next bag. Fisher and Gavin are on the same page. Tony and Hunter cracking jokes over there. Execution time. Here we go. Well, I went for it. Huh. Wow, an A and two. two. Jinx. <laughs> seven. Seven becomes a real possibility. Oh, my goodness. That's game. You just throw it off. Yeah. Tony's like, if I board it, PPR. Is Not even going to shoot it. It doesn't have it. to. And that will do it. Tony Smith and Hunter Thorne survive. Gavin Cano taking a shot at an and two, almost pulled it off, but it's not enough in the end. Tony Smith 
Still doing what he does. Just making broadcast. Hunter Thorne's going to be on twice tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please make sure you tune in to ESPN News, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. We will have our women's singles match, our men's singles match, and our pro doubles match. We will see you on that broadcast. Until next time, I've been Bernie Neighbors, joined alongside the K-9, Wally Kassler. We will see you down the road. There you go.